Who the hell are you? Never mind. You need a drink. Cherry, I'm thirsty over here. <laughs> cherry is my play toy. I love my cherry pie. Love it all night long. <laughs> I like her half naked, I like her all naked, but she says she gets cold. Hey, watch your language, clown shoes. I don't pay them. They take care of me, so I take care of them. We rub each other wrong all night long. <laughs> Help yourself, clown shoes. Grab one from the liquor cabinet. I never trust anyone without a drink in their hand. Of course, I never trust one that does either! <laughs> sure, didn't I already tell you to? It's my hidey hole. Nobody can fuck with me here. I got my women and my booze. What the hell else is there? Eating, drinking, farting, and screwing! <laughs> Out here, nobody bothers me. I can do whatever I like to whoever I want. You need to... Hello, sweet chicks. What can I... Never mind. You need a drink. You need to drink more. Ha <laughs> Hello, honey. I'm Fantasia. You're not going to be staying long, are you? Dookie doesn't like me to wear a lot. He says it slows things down. He's all right. He can be a real fun guy, but he sure knows how to wear a girl out. Most of all, I'm safe here. I wouldn't pull out a weapon, even just to show him. He gets kind of paranoid about that. Don't get in a shooting match with him. He's really good. Damn straight. It's, well, it's Dukov's place. He lives here. Pretty much, he just does a lot of drinking and partying. Yeah, see you. Are you still here? Hi, sugar. I'm Cherry. Do yourself a favor. Watch yourself with Dukov. He's all hands. Dukov likes to keep it hot. Ain't no need for nothing else. 
He's a lecherous old man. The only reason I put up with him and his needs is because I'm safe here. He tends to shoot first and ask questions later. Don't pull out a weapon near him. He's likely to shoot you. And he's really good. No sweat. It's pretty much later. Oh, baby, let me get you something special. How about a Duke of Surprise? <laughs> Never mind. You need a drink. Jerry needs some fucking booze over here. You need to drink more. Are you still here? Hey there. He's a le- He tends to and he's- You're a pig. I'm only doing this because he can keep me safe. He's a lot tougher than he looks. I'm not sure how much longer that will be enough, though. Only if you take me to Rivet City. This guy is an animal, and not in a good way. But I'm safe here. Screw it then.
Well now, if it isn't the little saint from the vault. We've been looking for you. Someone's put quite a price on your head. What? You think you can walk around the wasteland doing the things that you do and there isn't going to be someone who takes notice? Such a shame. I hear that you could have been something useful. Ah well, time to die. Candace, it's Ralph. Tell Dad there's no way in hell I'm spending nuclear Armageddon trapped with him in a fucking closet. You can have my number. It's six. Well, if you'll excuse me, I've got a mushroom cloud to walk into. Have a happy holocaust.
Yes. What do you need? Take a look. Welcome to Godforsaken Hellhole. Not much to look at, but it's all mine. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. So, are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of king? Or priests? Or some sort of scaly community center? I'll bet most people would have just gone in there, guns blazing without half a thought. But not you! You're the best research assistant ever! I've been getting a good signal. But what do you think about them from your first-hand observations of them? That's very scientific of you. Personally, I wasn't sure if they were crabs or if they came from some sort of brine shrimp, perhaps. Some of these observations about their armor and camouflage gave me an idea for reinforced neutral-colored headgear. Here, consider it thanks for not interfering with them. Oh, speaking of which, take these, so you can continue to avoid them in the future. Correct as always. And your feedbacks really led to a very smartly written book. Maybe too smart for some folks, I worry. Of course, if the reader can't be bothered to understand something important as a book on how to stay alive, then what can we do, huh? And in case those readers blame you for their ignorance, here's your payment. Two big boxes of ammo. Now, on to the next chapter.
The last chapter is a bit more esoteric. It's about the survival of humanity as a whole and how to rebuild society. Deep stuff, huh? We need to know how large settlements are formed, how to harness the old technology, and I'll need you to get ancient history from a nearby library. We're in the last stretch now, so let's finish it up strong. What's first? Oh, that sure saved me a lot of time. But I bet their book wouldn't have anything about exploding mole rats, would it? Books are where the old world kept its knowledge, and libraries are where it kept the books. And there's supposed to be one in Arlington. See if it's still there, and if you can download records from its computer. Information dumps like those would be invaluable for rebuilding humanity. Great! The library should be in Old Arlington. If you can't get those, then even the card catalog would be useful. Why, I'm flattered! What would you like to know? Well, look around at the world we live in. It may be okay to you, but I've read about what it used to be like, and this wasn't it. So we all need something that keeps us going, despite all the terrible things around us. For me, it's things like this book. No, it's like... Uh... Did you ever try to put a broken piece of glass back together? Even if the pieces fit, you can't make it whole again the way it was. But if you're clever, you can still use the pieces to make other useful things. Maybe even something wonderful, like a mosaic. Well, the world broke just like the glass. And everyone's trying to put it back together like it was. But it'll never come together the same way. What, helping the trade caravans with idiotic chores? Repairing carts and fixing up sick Brahmin? There's got to be something more worthwhile that I can do to help humanity. Really? You really mean that? Well, thanks. Now, let's get this book finished. See ya. Don't try anything. I got nothing to say to you.
welcome to Megaton. Enjoy your stay.